2010, paper 2, question 10. We'll start by drawing a force diagram. So we have the weight of the block, 6J, so that's 60 acting down, and the reaction. Block is on the point of sliding down the slope. Friction always opposes motion, so it'll be going up the slope. I'm going to now resolve my forces, and we're going to have 60 sine 25, and I always remember this for S for sine, S for slope acting down the slope, and 60 cos 25 acting into the plane, the reaction and the friction. So I can see from my diagram now that R is 60 cos 25, which is 54.378, so that is 54.4 newtons. Friction must equal 60 sine 25, so that gives us 25.357, and we know that friction equals mu r, so mu will be my value for friction divided by my normal reaction, which gives a value for mu of 0.4. Six, six. We have a new situation, so we need a new diagram. We're still going to have the weight acting down and a reaction R. This time, um, the movement is up the slope, so we will have friction opposing motion down the slope. Again, I'm going to draw a second diagram, and I'm going to resolve my forces. The P, the reaction, and friction. I'm going to have 60 cos 25 acting into the plane and my 60 sine 25 acting down the slope. We know that R is 60 cos 25. Friction will be mu R and using our answer to the previous question that gives us 25.34 Constant velocity means that the forces are in equilibrium, so P must equal friction plus 60 sine 25. So that gives us a value of P of 50.697. So that's 50.7 newtons. Finally, we're asked to consider the particle moving with a, an acceleration of 3.5. Resultant force in the direction of motion has to equal mass times acceleration. And if I substitute in the value for friction of 25.34, that gives me P to be 6 times 3.5 plus 60 sine 25 plus 25.34, which is... 71.697, so that's 71.7 newtons.